how can Boole not have an influence on space exploration? I mean, Boolean algebra is the basis for computer language. Uh, the logic of it, the, the ones and zeros, you know, the uh, and, or, or not, uh, that language equated to how we do computers. And it's computers that allowed us to go to the moon. To me, as a mathematician, it's even more fascinating what Boole did than as a computer scientist or as a communication theorist. I mean, for mathematicians, you're trying to deal with the concept of truth. And truth is a zero or one concept. And Boole was the first person to realize that this whole endeavor that we are uh, going through is itself subject to the rules of mathematics. So Boole was, was really um, the guy who uh, had this fantastic idea that we could study zeros and ones and that would and, and, and we could get a tremendous amount of mileage out of, out of zeros and ones. If you look at the history of automated reasoning, he was on the very early side, but uh, you know many of those who came after him built on his work. Um, and especially, I think, the way he was thinking about things was very ahead of his time. Uh, thinking about, you know, how do we uh, mechanize this process of reasoning? How do we put it on a solid uh, foundation? Um, and even, how do we do reasoning by manipulating symbols? That was a, a very new idea. Um, and, of course, absolutely fundamental to uh, automated reasoning and, and the success that we're having there today. And within a few weeks, he had all the ideas for his first book. It was just amazingly quick, nothing like what anybody else was doing to bring in equations. And then to go as far as he did, I mean, he didn't just have the basic ideas, he had a plan for what should be done with the subject. What were the goals? He laid them out. And by 1854, he'd accomplished them. Amazing.